spin. The subtle art of turning the crooked ball can get the better of the best. Yet sometimes it's the same bowler, the same delivery, just a different surface and the ball simply refuses to spin. This begs the question, what makes a pitch suitable for spin? Let us first look at how the ball turns. When a spinning ball makes contact with the pitch, its bottommost point tends to slip. As a result, the pitch provides friction in the opposite direction, causing the ball to turn. But it's the magnitude of this frictional force that determines how much the ball will turn. Frictional force between two surfaces in contact is the resistance to relative motion between them. Microscopically, this resistance is caused by the interlocking of surface irregularities or asperity. As the size and number of these irregularities increases, the coefficient of friction between the surfaces is set to increase, resulting in higher frictional force. And these irregularities are abundant in the clay deficient red soil, which, when watered and dried, tends to shrink resulting in a coarse surface. Furthermore, as the Pacers footmarks build up over time, the pitch starts to disintegrate due to the inherent brittleness of red soil creating a rough patch. At the same time, the now older ball, which has underdone wear and tear, has developed even more asperity over time. This overall increase in irregularities means more interlocking between the surfaces and a higher coefficient of friction resulting in vicious turn later in the innings. And this is how red soil's tendency to shrink and erode sets the stage for the spinners to turn the game on its head. Which turning track stands out in your memory as a spinner's paradise? Comment below and stay tuned to Wicket to Wicket.